Good morning, my name is Olivier Geyer. I'm culinary executive chef for Europe uh, for Cuisine Solution. I'm from France originally. And today we will be cooking um, sous vide bass with oysters and beurre blanc sauce. Um, I would like to thank our sponsors, uh, Breville, Cuisine Solution, and International Sous Vide Association. Thank you so much. So for the pressed uh, potato cake, we will use Idaho potatoes. You peel them, don't buy them peeled or pre-peeled because they will be gassed and it will affect uh, your sous vide cooking after. And taking a Japanese mandolin, approximately one and a half, about one to one and a half millimeter, very fine, very gentle with your fingers because it is sharp and just go on straight on the potatoes very gently you can cut them. so once you sliced all your potatoes very finely do not wash them leave them like that but you need to act very fast before the potato oxidize what you need to put is clarified butter just two small ladles. Uh, a ladle is three quarter of an ounce. So you need approximately less than two ounces of melted butter. And from there, you add up kosher salt. We normally season between about nine to 10 gram a kilo. So after stirring, stir them well, then you got a nice repartition of the salt into the potatoes and also the clarified butter in a pre-lined tray. So what I do is spray a little bit of fat at the bottom and line up with baking parchment. Um, and what you need to do after, it's put gently at the bottom of your tray. Put nice layers first, and they appear well when you're gonna cut. And fill up your tray all the way, ready. Make sure there is like little gap, but we're gonna do a stage after in the machine when you, we're gonna teach you to do, and it will avoid all the little holes into the, your potato gratin or your priced potato cake. There you go. So for the next stage, we will um, do the potato gratin. So we're gonna, uh, what we call compress the potatoes inside the sous vide machine and remove any air pockets. So we're gonna do that twice. And what you do is just put it in the machine and you just wait and the potato rise a little bit, you're gonna see. And after, once you start rising a touch and boiling, you stop the machine. And you will compress and remove all hair pockets. We're going to do it again. So for the gratin now, when you put it, and you enter it into the sweet bag, put it on the sideways and just making sure then you're gonna have the sous vide properly. We're trying to get it as close as we can to the ceiling bars, as you can see. I'm giving two small incisions, five, three actually, and leaving your bag outside. And now just put it on the vegetable settings. As you can see, you got the perfect seal close to the um, tray and nicely perfect. Just cut the edges and that's it. Ready to cook. So for the pressed potato cake, what is really important is to cook it at 84 degrees for a minimum of four hours. And once it's cooked, we will press it overnight. And like that, it will be very nice and very uh, squeezed and you will only see the layers of the potato once it's gonna crisp up. So remember to do that, is to cook it in advance the day before and after pressed it. That's it. We will cook a rockfish, um, which is uh, a premium and fresh, which is important for your sous vide. Uh, so you can see it's been prepared and pin bone and really, uh, it's a very nice and fresh fish. Um, we will start portioning it and making sure that all the portion are 
precise and the same weight for um, for uh, the cooking process. And you can see. And we will brine the fish for 10 minutes um, on the brine done at 10% of salt, kosher salt. There you go. And you just got to put it back in the fridge, keep it cold all the time and for 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, we've been putting our fish into the 10% brine. This is how it comes out. It's nicely dry, um, slightly firm. That's what you want. So the fish is ready to be um, to be put into a pouch. So ensure that you keep your pouch nice and clean, and you position your fish properly. And working with gloves, it's very important. Do not do not do sous vide without gloves. Basically, and that's all you need because the fish has been brined. We don't need salt. We're just going to add a little bit of olive oil for the flavor, and that's it. So for the next stage of the dish, we're going to prepare Kumamoto oysters so they're from the Pacific uh, West Coast, uh, Washington State. So they're really tiny and uh, the flavors are beautiful. So when you buy your oysters and you keep them in the fridge, always make sure that you keep them on ice. Uh, like that, they're icy cold and there won't be any problem regarding temperature. But also assess them uh, when they don't open themselves, they're not open. If they open, please chuck them away. Do not cook them because um, most of the time they will be dead. Um, so what you got to do, the little trick when we do oysters here at Crea or we're teaching the courses of sous vide, we wrap them all in foil um, to avoid um, for the patch uh, to leak during cooking because you can see on the sharp edges and we clean them as well. We just brush them very quickly so they're nice and clean in storage. And for the professional, do not forget to keep your shellfish tag uh, uh, for all the hassa. but for that, moment we just like fold them very nicely without to force too much pack them and put them in the pouch ready to put sous vide and keeping it very cold there we go. so for the accompaniments of a dish we choose baby licks uh, because of um, a strong uh, oniony flavor uh, to cut with the fish the burb line the oysters and we I've got, um, what I do is the night before, I put them upside down in a container with the water filled up so all the sand goes to the bottom. Doesn't mean there is no sand because like that you can see it at the moment. So what we're gonna do is trim them properly um, and prepare them for cooking. So now what you do also, you put them in a solution of water and vinegar for 10 minutes to sanitize them and making sure there is no bugs. But also what we do, to make sure there is no sand. So this is how they are, nice and clean and neat. And you keep a little white and a little green and the yellow. It will be the colors to your dish. So we're serving approximately three per uh, dishes. So we're gonna just gonna make six of them. What is nice is at the end, turn them around and just pack them on your hand like that. And you can trip them all the same way, like that, they'll be nice. Keep your trimmings, don't throw them, okay? Keep the trimmings for soup, stocks, or ramen, anything of the sort like that, you can make some um, other dishes with it. Very gentle, without to damage the bags. And when you use the bags, for example, the thinner the bag, and the better it is for the, um, for the temperature to come through. I put a little bit of olive oil, and We'll put a little salt. Ensure that your salt sink at the bottom. There is no salt on the pouch like that. You won't have any problem when you do your sealing and you won't have any liquors. And that's it. We're gonna make a beurre blanc. So we start with uh, finely dashed shallots. As you can see, they're really, really fine. And I recommend that you rinse them with cold water. So you can put your shallots and after white wine vinegar to the level, like that. And you put a dry white wine. Uh, Beurre Blanc is from the Loire Valley, so where I'm from. So normally you put muscadet into it and 
has been a dry white wine. It's special. It's a so specially for the fish, um, like in the Loire Valley was uh, pike, zander, or perch. So that was one of the three dishes you always serve with beurre blanc. Um, so there is two ways to uh, for beurre blanc. You can wait and reduce it, and serve it with a shallots or what we call a beurre nante when you pass the shallot through a sieve. So you got two ways if you like a bit of texture in your beurre blanc or not. So once you read, you got your uh, reduction coming to your seamer, so that's why we use the uh, polyscience um, because you got the settings and you got like the perfect simmering. We're just waiting when it's completely reduced to demi, like a demi glass texture and you got like complete evaporation of the alcohol and the vinegar. And from there, we will after monte au beurre. So we will put this, um, the baby leeks sous vide. So we're trying to get the baby leeks as closer than you can from the ceiling um, than you got here, but also very careful than making sure that you don't have any salt or anything to prevent chimney during your cooking. As the bag will slightly come out, what we're gonna do is a small incision here and here, like that the bag doesn't explode when we're gonna do our settings, and this is it. So for the oysters, um, as you can see, we, we said earlier, we'll protect them with foil for the sharpness of the, the shell, so to avoid to damage the bag. Same again, special setting for the oysters, that's why we recommend you to come with us and learn about the sous vide course, and this is it. So we will practice less pressure on the oysters when we don't crush, but at the same time, a different air exit. And this is it. You can see in the bag that the foil has protected the uh, sharpness of the shell, and that's all you need to do now. Tear it on the side, and you can see you've got less space, less air around, so you'll have a, prop, a better cooking. So the next stage is on the fish. So we're gonna change the pressure, and the air exit like that we won't damage because it's a very fragile fish and at the same time when you want to open the pouch once it, once it's cooked you don't want to damage your fish so little incision place it close to the bar okay and that's it so here we go you can see yeah and what you do you just pass your fingers between to make it like a nice separation so the fillets won't stick to each other and just trim your bag and that's all. Cooking by the fish at 61 degrees Celsius and you just pull it delicately and that's it. You know, it will take approximately 12 to 14 minutes uh, by the size of um, the steak of the fish and you will see with the oil, what you want to do is to avoid all the albumin to come out of, um, uh, with the fish. So you don't want it to be overcooked. Before we will do the baby leeks and the oysters, you can do the same at the both, the both of them at the same temperature. So the leeks will take approximately 10 to 15 minutes and the oysters normally seven to eight minutes. So 24 hours later, that's what your Price potato cake looks like. It's been gently squeezed overnight and I trimmed it all around. And what I'm gonna do is some nice fingers, approximately even a centimeter uh, in length, I'm sorry, in thickness, very gently, because it's quite fragile. And after, what we're gonna do in the pan, we're gonna sear them. So we'll have a proper, we'll put it on saute, which is your pre-setting, uh, pre-setting, sorry. And what you start, it's with a gentle warm pan. You don't want it hot at the start. You just want to warm it up at the very gently. And there you will increase the temperature. There you go. So as I was explaining earlier, we started with just like a warm pan. And it starts to be golden brown, as you can see. So what we're gonna do is flip them around like that, and you can see the potatoes are nicely layered and you can, you can have a crispiness to it. So we're gonna flip them around, give it another good crispiness at the other side for two, three minutes, like that, look at that, golden brown. And after we will be able to finish it with butter. 
So now when you got like the perfect color at the other side, make sure when they don't stick to each other, okay, space them up and just put a little bit of butter on each side. I like to use this um, salted uh, butter. Um, I got to season the dish as you go and being from France. But you will see the crystal of salt will be nice in texture with the potatoes and all of that. And just let them go for another four or five minutes like that until your butter is becoming foamy, but it doesn't burn. You don't want to burn it, you just want to like to foam. So for the beurre blanc, when we've done earlier with the reduction, this is how it looks. So you got your shallots, who are like slightly pink, you know? So you put a little spoon and a bit of liquor on the seam set. A little bit of cream. Normally, beurre blanc don't contain cream. You should have your butter very icy cold and you emulsified in that production. But as we want to do it friendly for everyone at home, you just put a little bit of, uh, little bit of butter. So your butter needs to be icy cold and gently you emulsify your butter into your cream. 